From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News Update. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Here are some of the big stories we are following right now. The Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine could soon come with another warning. The FDA said the shot could lead to an increased risk of a rare neurological condition known as Guillain-Barre. The disease causes the immune system to attack the nerves. Federal officials have identified about 100 cases. Most people fully recover, but the condition can cause permanent nerve damage. Hundreds rallied at the state capitol Monday over Governor Lamont's plan to extend his emergency powers. The governor says orders are still needed to protect the public and continue critical measures, but some say enough is enough. During the height of the pandemic, there were hundreds of executive orders. Governor Lamont is looking to extend 11 of those. Lawmakers are meeting Wednesday about extending the emergency powers. The first payments in the Biden administration's enhanced child tax credits will start rolling out this week. The payments will be paid monthly via direct deposit or check. Heads of household will receive up to $300 for each child under the age of six and up to $250 for each qualifying child ages six to 17. The amount of the credit goes down for people earning over $112,000 a year. In New Britain, a big part of the city's master plan to make the streets more user friendly is now complete. Some of the biggest improvements include new bike lanes, larger sidewalks and better traffic signals near East Main Street and Myrtle Street. It's all part of a $37 million project that started nearly 10 years ago. Mayor Aaron Stewart said there are more improvements still in the works. All right, our Tuesday across Connecticut will feature weather very similar to Monday. A lot of cloud cover, perhaps a brief isolated shower or some sprinkles, but otherwise just primarily dry and temperatures remain below average. Our normal high is in the mid 80s. We're going low in mid 70s inland, also 70 to 75 along the Connecticut shoreline. We do trend warmer though as we head toward the rest of the week. Low 80s on Wednesday with a chance for some afternoon showers and thunderstorms. Dry Thursday, 90 or better. The humidity makes it feel even hotter. 93 on Friday inland. A summer relief at the shoreline, upper 80s there. Then the upcoming weekend features a chance for showers and storms both Saturday and Sunday. Highs in the mid 80s.